Hello people, hope you're doing great. This is V and welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, you guys have to excuse my voice for this video. As few of you may know that I was tested COVID positive and I was really sick for this entire week. I had high fever ranging up to 103 and then I had sore throat. There were days that I was in so much of pain. I literally felt like someone was poking me with needles all over my body. It was difficult. It was a difficult time. You're self-isolated. It's depressing and it's just not your physical health, your mental health is suffering as well. Thankfully, I've recovered and uh, I'm doing well. However, my voice is still coarse and I'm still waiting for it to get back to normal. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm doing my home remedies. I'm having, uh, you know, honey, lemon, new foam water and all the other stuff that is needed uh, to get the sore throat uh, in check. But still it's a recovery phase <laughs> all right i hope you guys can bear with my coarse voice all right let's uh, talk about itachi backstory episode so i'm watching episode uh 455 and 456 today well we saw itachi's childhood and now we know that he's an Anbu op. So in these two episodes, I guess we're gonna see more about his Anbu op missions and then his opinions about the whole coup d'etat and what led to the slaughter. I'm really excited. Let's dive in. But if you're new to my channel, then do subscribe and drop some likes and comments on this video. All right, let's hop in. Oh, I love this. Otachi, I'm proud you've joined the Anbu. That even more than being a leaf Anbu, you're first and foremost an Uchiha. Uchiha. It's always about the clan, you know, how important the they on, make a clan friend. is. Oh! So we think Shishu is dead. Name. We already here, so we skipped a lot. Shishu, wait. So, so... Me, so we're not seeing any of his Anbu op missions. We're here at this point when Shishu committed suicide. I thought we're gonna see more of his Anbu op missions and his shift of opinion. No and that is when his Mangeku Sharikan kind of awakened. He killed himself in Nakano River. You believe I have What's happening to the sky, you? man? Yeah, why it's so right. yellow and fluid? If I find you betrayed this clan, I want you to know. You'll pay for your wrongs. I, I don't know if it makes sense, but um I feel like this this color in the sky and the way it's been reflected it's like we're seeing things from Itachi's perspective so it's kind of like symbolic of what an emotional turmoil that's going inside Itachi and uh, that is reflecting in the environment around him like as per in his perception. The clan, the clan, the clan. You overestimate your own abilities with no idea of the depth of my own. Stop it, Itachi! This is, this is where, you know, you can see his strong opinions about how he demeans a clan and like clan is not that important as compared to the village. This. If There's you compare no the number of lives that is at clan. stake. And he stopped because of Sasuke. Ah, uh, it Watch just... carefully with your eyes, Sasuke. Observe how shallow this clan is. You know what? Uh, this this scene, like the shot we've seen that previously too, when uh, Itachi just dropped on his knees and apologized to the clan members. And then he looks at Sasuke and now we are actually hearing what was going inside his mind back in the time. It just, it felt so surreal and it just felt so strongly like this. It just strike in my mind like this boy. A second ago, he was so enraged by this subject of clan being so important. Why everyone, everyone in Uchiha clan is emphasizing on the fact that you're in Uchiha. You have to, uh, you know, keep your clan above everything and... It's always about clan and even in that cat mission when you know back in the time he had the, he was questioning the same thing that everyone keeps thinking about the clan but they don't see the bigger picture and that how many lives are at stake and what can happen if you keep um, selfishly you know promote your clan over others what can uh, what are the consequences of that you know idea and from that idea to this uh, when he just kind of you know 
blurt out his emotions in front of these people and in the second when he sees Sasuke he realizes that for him Sasuke is the priority and if he uh, doesn't adhere to what they're saying right now it can also means um, Sasuke can be you know Sasuke's life can be at stake and he needs to protect Sasuke at every cost so the whole shift of demeanor in a second that was like it's it's just struck me so strongly right now when I'm actually listening into it again and what he is trying to say to Sasuke that you have to break out of the shackles of the clan because clan being part of the clan it's, it's a shallow clan which just thinks so highly of themselves because of the Sharingan but in reality there is more than just being part of a clan. Beginning today you will become a squad leader in the Anbu. You're not part of the foundation per se but your mission orders will come from me. There's Why? no need to report anything to Hiruzen and his staff. But I have a mission for you. It's a simple assassination. I don't get it. Why is he acting as Danzo's uh, puppet? We'll be your subordinates from here on. We're honored to be of service. Well, I don't trust these uh, Foundation Anbu ups. I, I just do not understand his prerogative of acting as Danzo's puppet at this point of time when he's already an Anbu up reporting to Hiruzen. The surveillance team on the Uchiha has reported that the Leaf Police Force has been strengthening their armaments. So, this is something we can't ignore. Yes, sir. Well, I think uh, maybe because he was also, um, because he was a double agent, right? So, maybe he is being close to Danzo so that he can keep an eye on Danzo and his plans and... He like he wants maybe he wants to be in the center of everything and being well informed in order to do that he needs to be close to Danzo as well so that's why he's acting as if like he's taking orders from Danzo but he did indeed I don't know eventually if it was his free will or um, like it was his opinion of slaughtering the whole uh, clan by his own choice or it also had Danzo's impact on it but right now it feels like he just wants to be close to all the um, uh, players in the game, as in Danzo, Hiruzen, and his own dad, so that he can make an informed decision when needed. And he was doing the surveillance as well. Oh, he's looking at this girl! So they have kind of a bingo book too about all Uchiha's, I guess. And have like what's some bar graph diagrams and maybe their stats as in like what's uh, who's good and what do this person has a Sharingan or a Mangekyo Sharingan or what? Welcome what home, big brother. I was just about to go and train. Come with me. I'm exhausted from my mission. Come on, you never <laughs> get tired, big brother. Well, he's mentally exhausted, not physically though. He has a lot on his shoulders, Sasuke. Sorry, Sasuke. Some other time. You know about the clan meeting in three days, don't you, Itachi? Once it concludes, meet me at the Nakano Shrine alone. Don't run away. From what, exactly? From your destiny as an Uchiha. <laughs> Do you understand? I'll be waiting. So his dad uh, also kind of have some doubts about Itachi, right? He has seen him growing up and he understands his, uh, I guess he may have little inkling about Itachi's perspective towards uh, the whole thing. So I guess he also has his doubts that may, will Itachi be part of the coup d'etat or not? And that's why he's like, don't run away. And I guess this is uh, the final day when it happened, right? Did not attend the meeting, did he? But that's his mother. You two stand by here, but Captain. So his girlfriend was also a part of that uh, Uchiha meeting where they decided about the coup d'état. Within the clan, only those who possess the Sharingan can read this stone tablet. Oh! And even then, only part of it. That's why his dad called you him to here. Tell you what it says. That's not necessary. Oh! You have the Mangekyo as well? It happened during the Third Great Ninja War. Wow, that's a well-kept secret, man. The Uchiha's path to salvation is carved into this stone. However, even if it's only part of it... Yeah, because you guys you don't have Renegon. understand, the current situation forced upon the Uchiha is wrong. You're right. They're afraid we'll control the Ninetales with the power of the Sharingan. 
That's just a legend about Madara Uchiha. But the higher-ups cling to the ghosts of the past and keep us at a distance out of fear. If they're afraid of us, there's nothing else left for us to do except control them. Okay, so I guess because his dad kind of read half of it, maybe he doesn't even know the whole thing as because you need the Renegon. I'm assuming this because you know how Madra explained us the story of uh, Kaguya and the fruit and everything. Maybe the part that these uh, Uchihas can root, read through if you have a Mangekyou Sharingan is um, like half of the story about Sage of Six Maths and his two sons Asura and uh, Indra. And that's why probably, you know, he's saying, uh, he's stating stuff about um, uh, how Uchiha clan's not responsible for everything because he read the whole that part. But with Renegon, you know, like a deeper meaning of it or whatever. Uh, and that's why he's saying that it's not fair for Uchiha clans to be outcasted by the village where they're not even responsible uh, for the whole thing. Like, you know, the whole war and fighting and battles which are going on and on for years. Do you plan to use force to become the Hokage? It's only because the clan wishes it. I can't stop them. But I want to avoid the use of brute force. That's why I kept my Mangekyou oh. Sharingan a secret. Why? I can control the Nine Tails with my Mangekyou Sharingan. If the clan learned of it, they'd want even more. Watch! Oh, so he's showing him. We have brought the Jinshuri. Use the power of the Uchiha. Oh, I guess Ugako is showing uh, Itachi what could have happened if the clan knew that he has a Mangekyou. Oh, yeah. When someone's pushed into a corner, they resort to such things. But Itachi, if you're with me, right at my side, we can take them by surprise and restrain the higher ups. We could orchestrate a bloodless revolution. What? A bloodless revolution. revolution. Help me to save our clan. Okay, so I want to say a few things about this. So I so so far I had it wrong. I used to think that Fugaku uh, is the one who was um, you know plotting this coup d'etat. Like he was the brains behind it. But um, after listening into this conversation and ever since this whole uh, backstory episodes of Itachi started, one thing that I've been observing is that Fugaku was always really dedicated towards the village. He considered himself as a crucial part of the village, being the leader of uh, Uchiha clan. And he had his loyalty towards the village. However, his whole clan was so um, against the whole idea of village and Hokage, and they had this. Uh, they were full of resentment that if he if he went against the clan, that means that they would just you know ignore him or disregard him being the clan leader and would do whatever they feel like, and then he wouldn't even be. Uh, in a position to uh, minimize the destruction as in like how he's trying to explain Itachi that instead of doing the whole you know bloody war against the whole village this is what he's planning that he, he thinks that Itachi's Mangekyo and his own Mangekyo together they can just go and put all the village leaders in and get Jutsu I guess and that's how he wants to uh, remove the Hokage and he will become an Hokage and probably, you know, give Ochiha clan what they need uh, without the need of fighting and bloodshed. That was his idea. Even he wanted to do it as peacefully as possible without the need of bloodshed. But eventually, he wants to topple over the Hokage system and he himself wants to become Hokage. So what I'm trying to think right now is I'm I'm just connecting the dots that how Sishui had the had the plan of you know uh, going into this meeting and casting this genjutsu over Fugaku and uh, brainwashing him uh, in making him dedicated towards the village. However, that plan would not have have worked because. Fugaku himself didn't want it bloodshed. Uh, bloodshed. He 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 wanted a peaceful uh, change of power. So basically, uh, it's the whole village 
which is full of resentment. It's just not one man. He's not the driving force. The village is the driving force. He's just uh, giving them a direction. So basically that plan, Sishu's plan would not have been successful. So yes, so, so far I was uh, cursing Danzo like anything because he killed Sishu and that led to the whole um, coup d'etat. But it makes sense that that plan would have eventually failed and coup d'etat would still have continued. However, probably um, if Shishu was alive, maybe he would have done the coup de, uh, the slaughter himself, like how um, Itachi uh, bore that himself. Maybe if Sishu was alive, maybe Sishu and Itachi were doing the whole genocide themselves together <laughs> who knows but but i feel okay it makes sense that danzo uh, what danzo did has uh, there is no um there is literally i cannot defend him for uh, his action he i'm not defending his actions he was completely wrong totally wrong in not trusting sishui and stealing his eye that he did for his own selfish reasons however the plan of sishui would be would have not been successful that i want to do uh, lay out right now so now he's gonna just go yeah the Uchiha clan is set on turning against the leaf we ought to strike them it makes sense now why would he go and inform the all the village leaders about uchiha clan would like to use words plan. First before employing any violence because he saw there is no way the whole clan can be stopped you must choose align with the uchiha and launch the coup d'etat and be slaughtered along with your family or side with the leaf and before they attempt the coup eliminate every uchiha except your younger brother the only one that can handle this mission is you a double agent for both the uchiha and the leaf and then obviously the clan shinobi is fighting inevitable that's what he's been seeing since he was a kid so he chose the village over clan that's Sasuke Naruto. <laughs> no match for me. Is he seeing? Yeah. He's watching his kid brother playing with his friends. I guess that led to the whole decision making because uh, had they entered into the coup d'etat and had he supported his dad, even by um, you know genjutsu or whatever ways that they would they would have chosen at that point of time. Um, forcing yourself to become a village leader and be a Hokage and other uh, clan members would not be happy about the decision right because you forced yeah, the decision um, maybe for that point of time to avoid the conflict maybe people would accept Fugaku as a village leader but eventually uh, there are other clans and they will have resentment um, Hokage will have resentment other village leaders will have uh, resentment Danzo is not gonna stop because he knows Danzo Danzo's foundation uh, uh, with the other uh, Arvo ops are gonna eventually go ahead and uh, do their slaughter and even even say vo best of scenario that Uchiha clan um, is accepted by the whole village and Fugaku is accepted as the Hokage of the village. There will always be resentment towards Uchiha's uh, in the other village members. So having a normal childhood for Sasuke would be impossible even in that scenario. So what I guess right now he's contemplating is that if I do this, if I go ahead and slaughter my whole clan, at least my brother Sasuke will not be hated by the whole village and he can actually uh, have a normal childhood or I, w I wouldn't say normal but at least he would have friends in the village who would grow up and support him and be his team members or be his family but if uh, we force this whole coup d'etat on the village it will always be in inner conflicts and like a civil war which will keep going on and uh, there is very well good reason that Sasuke might die in the whole thing um, and many other kids so to avoid that whole thing he chose to kill all the people in Uchiha clan there is something that I would like you to help me with and the slaughter begins He's going into the police station. Who are you? Oh, 
Yes. So Itachi also slaughtered a lot of people. I don't know why I used to think that he just slaughtered his mom and dad. And everyone else was killed by the beater. Oh my god, like like the more number of people he's killing, his face is like uh, getting more bloody. Itachi. What oh, lies wow. beyond the slaughter? His, his dad stopped him. Will you show me a new future for the clan? Oh one that's different than the one that I showed you. Oh my god. Oh that's Obito. That looks like like you know horror movie shot where people just come out of random and Such Oh this eyes. this girl. I totally forgot about her. What happened? Oh my god, did he kill her? Oh gosh. Help me, Itachi. Please help me. She's looking for Itachi. Itachi's orchestrated everything. This that's is so what sad. I the clan's future. And they didn't and show us. The villages. Sasuke, huh? Sasuke is the reason for everything. Enemy for me. This will be a battle of Sharingan. He's wiping off that blood. This 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 whole graphic, this visual, uh, what do I say? It's like impactful. Like everything that is showing, it's just going like Over here. it's hitting hard. There are no traps. Come in. Father. His mom and dad are sitting like that to be like killed. With my own son. They accepted their fate. So you've aligned with the other side. Itachi, just promise me this. Take care of Sasuke. I guess his parents were amazing humans too. Like they, they accepted their fate. They know their kid has oh, well. chosen a path and they don't want to fight him. Do they just want... It. This is the path you have chosen. Compared to yours, our pain, our pain. Over in an instant. Oh my god, this hit me our so hard every time I hear this. But I'm still proud of you. You are truly a kind <laughs> child. And they still consider him kind because of the path that he has chosen. And he showed his dad the future. They never showed us, like, you know, the whole uh, sword strike. Oh my god. It's over. You're... Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but I wanted to uh, just point out one fact that um, when when uh, Itachi dies uh, before dying, he tells Sasuke um, that you know um, I'm sorry that I kept you at a distance, um, and now I wonder that had I told you the fact back in the time, maybe you could have convinced mom and dad against it, uh, against the whole thing. Maybe you could have stopped uh, the whole thing. So back in the time, I never um, understood the whole um, relevance of saying that and how could Sasuke, uh, how could have Sasuke stopped um, the coup d'etat or how could have he changed his uh, dad's opinion. Um, because I, back in the time, I used to think that Fukaku is the brain behind the whole coup d'etat. But now I feel what he meant was because Fukaku never wanted... Um, uh, a war or a battle he didn't want it to kill people he wanted a um, you know a bloodless uh, change of power and he just wanted to become a uh, fourth okage because his clan uh, had strong resentments towards the village i guess what i what i feel right now is the way that he showed this uh, genjutsu in the genjutsu he showed his dad that what he um, perceives as the future where he sees sasuke uh, probably being happy uh, living in the village having his friends and his family and having an amicable relationship uh, living um, among other clan members and uh, with other villagers so I guess probably this is the vision um, uh, which he which he gave to his dad really at the last minute had he uh, explained stuff to Sasuke when he was a kid like uh, growing up and probably he and uh, Sasuke together could have you know uh, convinced more Uchiha clan members that you know together they can actually live a peaceful life in the village have a, um, you know family uh, in the village you know be be uh, social with other uh, clan members and have friends and look beyond the clan and make friends in other clans. I don't know how the idea would have been um, uh, 
you know put forward but i guess the rationale uh, behind what itachi said to sasuke back in the time uh, sprouts from here when he shows that genjutsu to uh, fugaku just before uh, he killed them so i guess so never mind let's go go on ahead i'm going to confirm things with the leaf higher ups oh yes he did that he went to hirozen and danzo to confirm that Sasuke's uh, life is protected and First, you have my thanks. he can have Your a actions childhood. Have civil war within the leaf. We've maintained peace despite all odds. Horizon wasn't really weak, Hokage. Apologize. You will be branded as a rogue ninja who killed his whole clan. I just wonder why of didn't course. he initiate peace talks now? with Uchiha clan I after Shishui's death? Group named Akatsuki. I intend to stay close to them in order to make sure a promise is not broken. What do you want now? Well, you've become a rogue ninja listed in the bingo book, Captain, an S-class no less. As Foundation members, we want to make it seem like we tried to stop you. Well, I don't trust these two men. Your swordplay suggests more than just trying. They're trying to kill him because his job is done, so Danzo's trying to get him killed. Genjutsu. You cannot kill Itachi. People, you should know this. Back when you first reported to me to become my subordinates. We'll be your subordinates from here on. Wow, way back in the time. Gestion in case you turned on me. You mean that you This man covered all bases. Right from the very beginning. Absolutely. I was acting as a double agent. I see through the eyes of both the Leaf and the Uchiha. But to be honest, I don't know who spy I really was. Well, that is so true and deep, right? Because when he's having a perspective of the Leaf Village from the Hokage and the perspective of Uchiha clan from his dad, he's in the middle making the shots, like calling the shots. So basically, even though he was a double agent, but eventually he did what he felt was right for the village. Within the organization, I'm known as Toby. I'm not an official member. Oh, you Toby! Is, if that's true. We're gonna Why see more of Toby! Identity? If people knew Madara Uchiha was still alive, things would become complicated. So that's their first hideout. I'm happy that we're gonna see more of Toby now. It's been a while. Is that Orochimaru? <laughs> I always knew you were a shinobi like the rest of us. Those who consider bonds like the village, the clan, and comrades to be nothing but a burden. The goal of the Akatsuki Maru, you should just is shut a your trap. Of peace among shinobi. That's quite a lofty goal. I'm happy to see pain as well. We're assembling skilled shinobi. And Conan. Without asking about their history. And here it began. So within one episode, we saw the whole slaughter. And we also saw his initiation so in Akatsuki. Now you are Itachi of the Akatsuki. And the ring. Finally. So we're going to see more of Akatsuki oh, in the next episode. Hey. Oh, the final... Oh, actually, I don't recognize two people. Juzo. Huh? Juzo. You will form a two-man team with Itachi. Oh. Huh. This guy looks familiar, but I just can't place him. Like, where have I seen him? Juzo. And Orochimaru is still eyeing at Itachi. He was always interested in all Jiha guys. All right, it was it was a really good episode. Within one episode, we covered a lot of stuff, and now we gonna see more of Itachi in uh, Akatsuki. I'm really excited about it. But he has a new team uh, member, so he's teaming up with a guy called Chuzo. And I think maybe next episode we'll see um, probably more of uh, Kesame. I don't know when uh, he will enter into the whole Akatsuki. And there was another guy that I did not recognize. Um, anyways, I'm excited. Let's watch the next episode. He has this executioner's blade. He must be one of the swordsmen from the you mist. You know a shinobi called Might Die? Might I Die? Might guy. I was one of the seven ninja swordsmen of the mist back then. I was about to say this Thanks thing. Thanks to that Might Die, the seven swordsmen ended up being cut down to only three. He killed four? I really couldn't care less about the reasons. Okay, that makes sense. So on that day when, you know, how uh, we saw that one uh, scene in that backstory of uh, Might Kai, his dad was taking on the swordsman. So he killed four. Incredible with his uh, 
seven uh, inner gates open i don't know if he was no i did he open the eighth one because uh, maybe that is how he died and he did that blood um, fume thing why you join the akatsuki i don't even want to hear your reasons it doesn't matter why i joined either and i don't want you to ask me okay <laughs> your ninjutsu specialties oh he knows everything genjutsu fire style and shuriken jutsu you know you're really being way too humble former leaf I agree. on Itachi uchiha anyway let's decide on our formations you can just start out with a preemptive attack then i'll jump into the fray he we wants Itachi to be his backup B. what's a we each do whatever we want so why are we even discussing the formation when they are gonna do whatever they feel like you can't take any opponent for granted got it absolutely yes sir understood but what they are doing now who are you get out of the way shinobi villages always talk a good game about peace and order hmm. behind the scenes they're trying to reduce their opponent's power <laughs> that's why the akatsuki gets jobs the more peaceful the world is the more work we get so this is a hit job oh but those swords like charge up so quickly but obviously they are no match to itachi and i'm assuming this guy is good as well he has the executioner's blade but this is the politics of the uh, all different we don't lands know who's inside this thing and oh want to know so that person is dead, that feudal lord or whoever that person was. Just like that. And he said that he doesn't care who's inside it. What's also nice is that you don't have to waste any thought on who the hell would pay us to do dirty work like this. Aha, uh -huh. so they like no morality, we just need money. This was way be uh, before when they were collecting the tail beast. Our leader Payne had said that the plan was for the Akatsuki to rule the world. Yeah, well, that won't be for a long time. Very, First very time long time. Money and power. It took years and years. Speak of the devil, he's summoning us. Oh, this one, this meeting. I forgot this virtual meeting. Well, this is our life now in COVID, man. All virtual. Have you gotten used to the Akatsuki, Itachi? How would you feel about changing partners and teaming up with me? <laughs> what a <are> tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, uh, he's protective of his uh, team member. <laughs> changing partners. There's something called compatibility, you know. <laughs> they both don't like each other. Well, who will like Orochimaru? Except for Kabuto. Thanks to all your efforts, the Akatsuki's reputation is growing in the underworld. The Akatsuki's ready to move to the next level. The tailed beasts. And what's the end goal? Hunt down and collect each of them. And then, there'll be deterrence in our quest for world domination. Juzo, you'll handle the request from the Land of Water. You're familiar with the territory. He's from the La Land of Water, isn't it? That place is so depressing. I never wanted to go back there again. We have to assassinate a member of the Feudal Lord's clan in the Land of Water. The Hidden Mist can't interfere in the affairs of the Feudal Lord's clan. And that's why they've come to the Akatsuki for help. So that's the politics going on in Land of Water. And Nikatsuki took the hit job. You ever been to the Land of Water before? Never on a mission. Family vacation? <laughs> You've got no sense of humor, you know that? Family Although, vacation. Yeah, let's, do know let's go to the beaches this summer. From another village summer. that was found in the Land of Water, right? The Hidden Leaf is naive. So you and Orochimaru can traipse around as rogue ninja. If the hidden mist manages to get me, then you'll have to kill me immediately. Oh wow! Okay. If I have the chance. Like, what do yeah, you sure, want me not? to do for Formation <laughs> D? Oh, like Nothing he's asking. Itachi is like, I can, I can kill myself, dude. Don't worry about me. You do you. <laughs> but I was just wondering that uh, the way he said that uh, famine vacation, so poor shinobis, they can't even go to other lands on literally on vacations. They cannot like have a trip. There was no tourism back in the time, maybe only for ordinary people, not for shinobis or shinobis would be just hiding in the trees and probably, you know, doing bird watching. <laughs> Are you any good at infiltration? I'm average. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <I'm rich>. <laughs> <laughs> I like Itachi's answer with a straight face. 
That's the average guy. <laughs> Spare me! Oh, that's a feudal lord they're here to kill. No! And the assassination. Someone's following them. Hidden Miss Jutsu. Wind style, Supreme Typhoon! I know this voice. Oh! Um, Mizukage! Do you remember the warning? He's younger than Gara, right? But he's just when he became a Kage. They're the mists shinobi tracking unit. But wasn't he um um under the Genjutsu by Obito back in the time? Well, Juzo, I never expected you to show your face in the village again, but here we are. At the very least, I'm going to take back the executioner's blade. I think we're gonna have to use Formation C. Formation C, huh? Immediately, like not even wasting a second, he just killed him. Like you said it, I'll do it. Oh no! What? Oh! I don't know if Itachi was aware about it. He does sound like a lot like Sabuza. Ah, that uh, tail beast uh, form. Um. This isn't the hidden leaf. This isn't the <laughs> hidden leaf. This guy is like literally mocking hidden leaf every second. Oh, what's happening to Itachi? Oh, well, he saved Itachi. Oh my god, he's doing the tail beast bomb. Damn. Hey, Chuzo. Oh, Chuzo is dead. Go on, no, at least Go wounded. Itachi. Oh no, he's doing another bomb. Well, you better get out of here. I'm Itadasu. Also, oh, this is the first time he did a Mitras, so he doesn't even know what is this. But Mizubagi was alive, so he didn't die after this. Oh, he, he shed off that whole uh, tail beast shell just to escape the Mitrasu. But I guess he's gonna survive because we saw him later with Kezame. Choose, oh my man, are you gonna die right now? Well, that makes sense. It seems he's still alive. Well then, <laughs> hurry, go. But Why don't they kill him? Come on, it's all over for me. Do you have any last words for me to tell anyone? Do you really think that I'd have anyone? You have someone like that, huh? Yeah, hurry up and go. I'm just wondering how did Zabuza got his hand on this blade? And that he did actually awfully sound like Zabuza, this guy Chuzo. Maybe he's like a brother of Zabuza and that's how Zabuza get in possession of this blade. Maybe they're friends. Juzo Biwa is dead. Orochiwa is like, I got the shard, now he's alone, I'll become his team member. And managed to come out of it alive. Hmm. Rather than being killed by an enemy, he was killed by friendly fire. What? Friendly fire? Was it an accident? else be the judge of that? Oh, this guy! I was thinking, who is this guy? Searing my grave. He killed his own partner. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, yes, Kakuzu was um, infamous for killing his own partner. I was, I was thinking, what's happening? Okay, Zetsu was playing the video. Uh, okay, Zetsu, uh, one of the major job responsibility of Zetsu was to you know record all these battles like he used to just seep into the ground and he'll come over and he has the best of angles he'll just record everything and then he go back to uh, these meetings and then um, you know how you discuss what went wrong <laughs> after a, 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 a you know failed uh, operation they like play this presentation and the video is played and they analyze what went wrong so I guess that's that's the major responsibility of the black Zetsu right and we've seen that him recording all this stuff so this is how you, it used to work out but uh kakuzu was uh, infamous for killing his partners and that is when how uh hidan would come into the role right and hidan was an immortal and it didn't matter because uh kakuzu uh, couldn't kill him okay now you i remember all this it. just connecting Admit the dots it. you ignored your partner didn't you he didn't care about any of his partners what's your point just seems to happen a lot. Will you team up with Itachi, who's also lost his partner? Sure, as long as he doesn't irritate me. I wouldn't know how to cater to your moods. <laughs> cater to your moods. 
Then let's team up and I'll show you. Mirkotsky needs to find new members. Yeah, you need a recruitment drive. <laughs> I'm remembering Kakuzu and Hidan. How did they recruit in Hidan though? They will find Hidan somehow and that's how they became a team. Oh my god, back in the time. <laughs> Hidan, where is he? Buried deep down under. <laughs> oh yeah, we've seen this. Do it, do it, Itachi, do it. How ambitious was Orochimaru, man? Always, always. Are you aware of what eternal life is, Itachi? And that's exactly why I, I love it the way Itachi do all this genjutsu. Body to link me to and I remember Kakashi life. genjutsu as well. Oh wow, you that was good. Greed. <laughs> what incredible visual prowess! Magnificent. Magnificent. <laughs> oh, I like Orochimaru a lot, man. This guy endures pain. He loves, he breathes on pain. <laughs> My eyes can see through all of them. All these after Uchiha so bodies. Itachi, just hold on. Unfortunately, you possess far too much greed. Well, I'm, I'm happy that Itachi didn't kill him this day. Lord Orochimaru. Do not Kabuto. Doubt that I'll repay you for this. Kabuto to rescue Orochimaru. It's so funny to see Kabuto in his original body though. But I'm happy that uh, Itachi didn't kill him this day. Otherwise Sasuke, you know, how he helped Sasuke in the battle. I don't intend to let Orochimaru get away with this. But we're short on members. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> me join! Get lost! <laughs> Toby is a good boy. Kabuto. Is my puppet. Well, you no thought so. I have someone in mind to be your partner. Work alone for a little longer. Yeah, There's otherwise. I want to partner up with Itachi. Oh, so they already have recruited um, Kisame, I guess. Yeah, 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 we, I remember this. Kisame coming and introducing him to Itachi. I'll be teaming up with you starting today. I liked him. He was one of the best Akatsuki. Oh god, it's over. Yeah, Kisame was one of the best Akatsuki's, man. <laughs> oh, it's so many different memories. But I'm, I'm kind of remembering Hidan a lot. I was gonna show Hidan, but this is an Itachi backstory, no. But I wanted to know the origin of Hidan too. They never showed us. We know we've seen Dedara's recruitment. Um, but I don't know how Hidan came into Akatsuki, but... I miss that guy, man. I mean, haven't seen him ever since. He's, he's like... In that uh, in that forest uh, guarded by those deer, so hmm. I don't know whatever happened to him. All right, so it was really good two episodes. Okay, so Itachi um, in the in the previous episode we saw um, a lot about his conflict with his dad and uh, the clash of opinion and how he was in the center of all the big driving forces behind um, the coup d'état, the slaughter and all that village politics that was happening how he was in the middle of it and then he did he made the right call uh, what he felt in the situation was um, the most appropriate um, you know um, option or that was probably one of the only solution to the problem at that point of time as per Itachi and I think after ha after having all that knowledge that I have now uh, ever since watching ever since I've started watching this series I feel um, because I have assessed the situation so many different times in different episodes ever since I would get a new um, piece of the information um, I would just uh, make my opinion based on that uh, starting from the first time that we ever saw Itachi back in the OG and first opinion when I saw Itachi was why did he do it there must be a very good reason about it um, so that was the first um, a thought that I had when I saw Itachi in OG. But seeing Fugaku as this um, really human and more real person and with battling with his choices, I think that is my biggest take from these episodes. Like even uh, stopping just Fugaku wouldn't have stopped the coup d'etat. That was one of the biggest things that I understood in the last episode. Because till, till last episode, I was like, no, Sishu's plan could have worked had Danzo not killed him. But now I understand it would not have. So yes, 
finally i understand everything and i'm happy that i am going through these two episodes there are just two more episodes that i have to see and then this atachi back story will be done i'm not sure what more uh we're going to see um in the further two episodes we know atachi has joined akatsuki so a little more about his time in the akatsuki i guess well i really enjoyed these two episodes but i'm gonna wrap it out here if you really like this video do drop some likes and comments and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can also send me a high five on instagram and facebook and all my reactions videos available on patreon much earlier than youtube i'll see you in the next video until then bye